Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, out here for another review, and today I'm talking about this little guy, which is the Afterburner Comp, as well as the Ramjet Barrel by Radian. Big picture, what is it? Exactly what it sounds like. It is a comp and a barrel that Radian came out with. There are some pretty unique features going on with it, and I will show you those. First and foremost, I will say I actually really appreciate the way in which this thing goes together. Pretty clever design. Take this guy down real quick. And so in order to get this comp off, we actually are going to remove this little screw. So. But basically right here with the barrel, give you a close up in a second, but big picture, there are no threads, which is really handy for a number of reasons. A few things of note with this ramjet, apparently reduces recoil by 44% in combination with 115 grain ammunition. I'm not sure how they got that number, but it definitely reduces recoil. It is made of a 17.4 stainless steel, and one actually kind of cool feature is the way it's shaped. It's not totally squared off like your Glock, which has the potential to help in reholstering, and it is DLC black. The other barrel itself is fluted, has a polished feed ramp, match grade rifling, again, 416R stainless steel, black DLC coated, and it's pretty cool the way this basically works in conjunction with the afterburner in how it mounts up. So I'll show you that now. To put this thing together, it's pretty cool. There's just this notch. There's no washer, shim, set screw. It's not threaded, which if you live in a freedom reduced state, it's kind of a big deal because for your safety, not allowed to have a threaded barrel, but I'm gonna put this thing on here push it till it's seated like that. Give ourselves some room to work with out here. Take our tapered screw, drop that in there. And then you can use fix it stit, 15 inch pound limiter, put it on there. And go until, get our click right there. And now this thing is on there. So before we put our guide rod in, we should probably talk about this little guy. This right here is the Radian Compressor. It is a quick tune guide rod, and it comes with a 13, 15, and 18 pound spring. Also, kind of hard to see, but the guide rod is actually fluted, so there's less surface area that the spring's riding on, less tension, and they ended up making this. So. I've been running this in here. Go ahead, throw this guy in here and get us back together. There we are. Having said that, what has been my experience with this whole setup? The afterburner, the ramjet, and their compressor. So I will say straight out the gate, I got one of the pre-production ramjet and afterburners and I ran into issues. Issues largely related around, I think, spring tension. And they were also doing some stuff with, I think, the geometry as well as the coatings and the polishing on the feed ramps. So consequently, I ended up running into some issues. Since then, they ended up sending out a revised one, which is their actual production model. And with that, I ended up with a pre-production of their compressor, which I ran for a while initially. I don't think it was even coated. It was just raw metal and did an awesome job for me. And then I was actually headed down to Thunder Ranch. I was going to go shoot this gun a little down there and stopped in to say hi. They're like, hey, we actually have our production compressor. So I was like, cool swapped it out for me and ever since I swapped over to that compressor with basically that lighter spring or heavier spring I don't remember which 
it's been doing an amazing job for me. Like zero issues whatsoever, regardless of what I've put through it. So after initially shooting it with kind of a bunch of different ammo, I ended up actually taking this down to Thunder Ranch and yeah, did some shooting with it there. It's pretty fun to include some shoot house runs. One shot, one hit. And then most recently, still continuing that journey on the other strong side, I actually shot this in a low vis or limited signature pistol class with Room Nation and did an awesome job. Did I drop shots? Absolutely. It was not the gun, it was just me as a shooter. But yeah, ran into zero issues, thing did great. To include even some like compressed retention shooting, which depending on the comp you have, may or may not work out well. And yeah, thing worked like a charm. Earlier, I mentioned the Ramjet, the match grade rifle barrel. How accurate is it? Well, I went out and shot some groups with this, as well as just with like stock 19 barrel. And here's what I got. Tried to bag it, tried to get as steady as I could, just at like 10 yards, and here's what I got. What are my thoughts? Honestly, that's basically showing you more inconsistencies of me as a shooter than necessarily the pistol. Aside from a high point, I've yet to find a pistol that I can outshoot. So is it more accurate than a factory stock bro? Probably, I don't know. Are you capable of squeezing the accuracy out of it? I regrettably am not. It's what I got. One thing I will say I actually really like about this, aside from honestly aesthetics, they did a really good job with it, is overall, overall fitment in that it basically mirrors just a little bit smaller than your Glock 19. And with that, it turns it into basically a Glock 17. So any holster you have, like this guy right here, which is a four to three o'clock by Black Point Tactical, Glock 17 holster, it will fit. Same with any of your Safari Land, light bearing, whatever. If you have a Glock 17, it will now fit your Glock 19 or Glock 45 with the Ramjet and Afterburner, which is actually a pretty big deal. Finding a comp 
you're like, oh sweet, I got a comp. And then trying to find a holster and some of them really do not play well with holsters, turns into a huge mess. The fact that this will now go in any Glock 17 holster, I think that's pretty cool. Which brings us to my overall thoughts on the Radian, Afterburner, Ramjet, and I guess the compressor. So a lot of these will largely be with respect to comps on pistols, period. But specifically with respect to the Afterburner and Ramjet, we'll go ahead and talk about that for a second. Yeah, what are my thoughts? Well, first of all, you need to answer the question, what am I looking for in a comp, like a comped pistol? Do I want it because it looks cool? If the answer is yes, good job. Like, own it. Totally fine. There's no gatekeeper. If you want something because it looks cool, do it. And in fairness, I think this probably looks the coolest of any comp. They did an amazing job with respect to aesthetics and everything like that. And it also functions and works. Really cool. The way it goes together, like the fluting, geometry of everything, I think it's probably the coolest one out there. If that's you, go for it. Other things I do like, as I mentioned, holster compatibility, not a downside. There are often downsides with comps, one of which holster compatibility, not an issue. Another one, reliability. If you do anything to your pistol and it's no longer reliable, you should take off whatever you did because first and foremost, it needs to be reliable. I did run into a reliability issue initially until I ended up changing out the spring. Some people probably throw it on there, don't have to change the spring out. For me, I did. Once I did that, 100% reliable, solid, good. Again, now there's no downside. So why do you want a comp? If it's not to look cool and it's because you're like, hey, I'm gonna shave some time off of those splits, some hundredths of a second and whatnot, I think that's totally valid if that's where you're at. If you're like, hey, I want a comp because my gun will shoot flatter and I can get on target faster. And then in the same breath, you tell me you don't have a shot timer and you don't have like a metric for like El Prez or build drills or anything like that over the last like six months that you've been logging, then how do you know if this does anything for you? For my own part, I, I think there is value there. Like you can 100% shoot flatter. Can you shoot faster? Maybe. Can you shoot faster accurately? That's the big question. And so it really comes down to, I think the place at comp is really beneficial is for high level shooters that are basically tweaking and getting the most performance out of the gun as well as themselves. Most people, myself included, are not there. And that's okay. So then we go back to, because it looks cool. Still totally valid. If you wanna pick up a Afterburner and Ramjet. It comes a pair. I don't think you can use them independently. Get them directly through Radian. About, I wanna say like 390 bucks. Not cheap. And they tend to be kind of hard to find. So my suggestion would be to basically sign up for notifications because they tend to sell out pretty quick. As far as their compressor guide rod and stuff, I wanna say it's about 80 bucks. But yeah. That overall has been my experience with this Ramjet and Afterburner. And like I said, I think it's pretty cool. You either have a need because of skill and proficiency or it's a want because honestly it looks cool. And whichever one it is, like you do you, man. But lastly, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up stickers, patches, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. Little as a dollar a month, early access to videos, as well as some exclusive stuff. And if you have questions, happy to answer them. We have an active Discord over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Let's